Hey guys, I'm back. Another day, another video. So, um, a little bit more planned today, although I wasn't able to hit uh, a vape shop. Um, had to do some shopping, run around. Um, a funny story. Uh, there's a, at my local shopping center, there's a uh, twist stand. Um, I uh, actually know the guy that works there um, from before he worked there. So I always stop off. Um, today he almost stole my device because uh, I was vaping on Nasty um, as a Krishman, it's the mango. He loved it. Um, yeah, said he hadn't tasted anything anything like it before and with, when it comes to twisp if you ask me for the longest time and I, and I hate to just twist like this but but stay with me for the longest time yeah it was their devices were useless um, for the price point and for what you got it was just it's it was absolutely garbage they leaked like sieves, underpowered, and the cores were garbage, until, now they have, have stepped up their game. Their latest devices, their high powered devices are fantastic, they're big, yes they're still internal battery, and yes you have to charge it through the mod, which is a little bit annoying, and you can't change up batteries, but for what they are, they're fantastic. Now the high power devices with the brand new heads, I don't know what they're called, the, um, the tanks, but it's the latest tanks you've got to look out for. Can't fault them. On the other end of the spectrum, everything in between, to me, still garbage. The lowest end of the spectrum is probably one of their best devices ever. It's called the Q. Um, very much like... I'm using this as a bit of an example. Um, it's about that wide, stick of lip ass, and about that long, the battery. Now the heads um, are actually, it's, it's, a, it's the coil and juice and everything in one, and it's magnetic, and it just, you place in the right, uh, you, you slide in the top and it just clicks into place, done. It's small, it doesn't produce much vapor, but, for what it is, it is absolutely fantastic. So many people use it, so many people rate it. <sighs> yeah. If I had some spare money, I probably would would have would, would have got one by now. But yeah. If you are gonna go twisp, trust me, get the Q or one of the best devices that they have. Um I hate to say this twist, but everything else in between is still mm, gotcha. But, that's besides the point, what I was actually here for. Now, I'm going to talk about vaping on the go. Now, with me and work, you've seen my work set up. It's a Tesla 3 internal battery, which suits me fine for work. Unless I can charge it when I get home, I don't mind that I, that I can't swap out batteries. And me with an RDTA is perfect at work. Because I take a bottle of juice to work. I'm hardly ever out the shop long enough for me to run out of juice in my RDTA. But if you are a vapor on the go, you will want some sort of way to carry around bits and pieces. Now there's two vast ends of the spectrum here, and there's a few options in between. Um, now in between you get the UD type bags, which are decent in size enough to fit some mods, some juices, and some bits and pieces. Not always the most convenient things to carry around, but um, they do. They do have a. They they do sometimes have a strap, but not always. But I've got myself this. I uh, can't actually remember who it's made by. Well, it's it's advertising one on one. It hasn't even got a name, but but yeah, it's a one strap backpacky type thing. On the outside, it's got this big pocket. It can fit most sides mods, which are nice. And a smaller pocket 
probably perfect size for a juice, um, which is easy to get out on the outside. Um, I don't use the outside ones too much. I'm worried about someone whipping something out and while I'm walking past. Inside, it's actually really, really nice. You've got some clear bags here, two straps here. These are big enough for some mods, decent sized mods actually in the middle. On the other side, some places for batteries, tanks or even more juice. Weird this way one, which I use with my battery case. I don't have one on hand, but I'll slide the battery case in there. Uh, and then more smaller, smaller ones and bigger ones down here. This this will probably keep me sorted with some tools and some mods and some stuff and batteries and stuff. I could probably get away with this if I was going for like two, three days away, that would probably hold everything I needed. Now what I usually run around with, and I know this is a bit shocking, but I like to carry a lot of stuff with me. Um, I do like to change it up a lot. So I've got the UD, big UD bag. I'm not gonna go too much into this. This front section will fold out and it's got it's got place for all sorts of things. There's pockets everywhere with mod size pockets there. So nothing's all sitting at the bottom. Everything's has its place and in its place. Type of effort. Got a big inside plus again with, with places for mods, big open spaces. You could stick a laptop in your easy and mods and toolkits and blah blah blah. On the externals, you have some place for bat, um, juice on the side if you want juice. Um, these actually can come off, slot to the side or slot on the front of your back, uh, your straps. And you can put juice or a mod or something in here. It's just so much space, and it'll fit everything you need to fit in there. Now we come to day to day. Um, I usually run around with one of these on my belt. These are really nice. Uh, so you've got enough space for a mod. And this holds mm, like all two battery devices that I know of. Some three battery devices. Space for some juice and a pouch in the front, which is actually pretty decent size. So... At work, I run around with this. I don't run around with the juice on me because I've got an RDTA, but stick some juice in here. If you're running stock calls, you can actually stick some spare stock calls in the front here. You're good to go. If, if you're a re rebuildable type of person, you pair that with... Let me say who this is. This is Coilmaster. Coilmaster make these little bad boys. You pair that with uh, this UD. Also got the belt straps like this one. Belty strappy stuff. This is like a like your leather mini top devices, but you got you got flat edge side cutters there. Stars, flats. Um, your popular sized Allen keys, knife, scissors, all that side. This side is actually very impressive. Now your your screwdrivers and that are all um, different sizes. And if I'm not mistaken, they are marked. No, they're not. But you know, once you know which is which, you know. Got a file for some reason. With a nice big flat on it. But the most important thing are, oh, I get everything to go where it should be. Excuse me a second. Ready? Annoying as well. Yeah. Not the most practical, but it, it, it's got everything you need. Now, ceramic tweezers. Something everyone needs. Um, pretty okay to hold while using. I mean, 
you're going to be strumming a little bit, squeezing a little bit. It's got everything you need. Now, you take this on your belt, folds up nice and small, everything you need tool wise in there. Oh, it's got a tag in here, I didn't, didn't actually know. It's called a cool kit. <laughs> got it so long ago, I didn't even realize. You accompany this with this. You can put some cotton in there, so maybe some cotton pads or a little bank bag with some uh, some cotton in there, uh, a little jar, don't have a jar with me, usually you get, uh, if you sometimes get cores in those little jars and that, that's perfectly sized, I mean you can have, you can fit two of those jars in here, two jars with, one with cores, one with cotton, that and that together on your belt. You're sorted. You are sorted. Now, I do see a lot of people running around with like one, two mods and nothing much else, which is a bit weird. Uh, I didn't think about batteries. I suppose the front pouch is big enough for maybe a bat or two. But I suppose you could carry around a, a nice little the uh, box with some batteries and keep your batteries safe in your pocket or something yeah i mean these are these are awesome little kits especially on the run i mean something to grab and go um i'd probably have two of these accompanied with this and two mods cotton coils some extra batteries i suppose i could use one for some extra batteries size wise for battery that's actually pretty good size for a for an 18650 in this front little pouch thing i would put them in a silicon sleeve or a or a something because that's the biggest thing with with batteries i mean you, you all you need is that little piece of metal to get stuck in your in your between your positive and your negative and you are buggered but yeah that's um a couple of things i run around with uh depends depending on the situation uh, obviously it won't take the big boy out if I go out out uh, if I'm going to the vape shop and stuff it depends if it's a big event I'll bring the big boy if it's a smaller event the little one strap bag if, if it's I'm just running to the vape shop I'll probably have one or two of these on my belt and some mods because I know I'm not gonna be there long enough to drain a set of batteries on my throw another set of batteries in my pocket just for the screw of it running around with my bubble wraps coil company type shirt thank you again for the shirt now yeah, uh, i think that's all for me for today i'm draining on a little bit um let's not do tv uh, i have found in a few new things let's not do tv today let's maybe do that tomorrow um but yeah uh Sitting here on the 31st of December 2017. And it's hot. It's hot here in Durban. There's no breeze. Going out tonight is just going to be horrible. I can just picture it's going to be absolutely horrible. I might not even go out. But anyway, uh, from me for today, I think this is it. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then. Keep it cloudy.